Hello YouTube. So today we'll be setting up permanent storage on your tablet PC if you need it or just on any PC in general that running Windows. Um, so I'll show you the quick method. The quick method is you go to your Windows area and you press go to settings. And then from settings you go to system go to storage scroll down to change where new content is saved and this is all assuming that you already inserted your SD card so once you do that pretty much I already set it up but you would um, it would be like this you'd go over here and then you'd click apply and you do it for everything so so far I've set it up for everything so pretty much all my documents even apps um, music and movies, anything would go there, photos, everything, even maps, uh, stuff. So, but let's say something's wrong or it's just not working or you're trying to set up a mount point. So in that case, what you would do, you'd start up by opening up your files folder. And what you do is, um, you'd right click the SD card. And again, this you I don't think you need to do it immediately when you when you get a new SD card, but just in case if it's an old SD card maybe you're using, you'd want to format it. But remember that when you format, it will delete everything. So everything will be deleted and you won't be able to recover that stuff. So just make sure that whatever you have on it, you remove out of it if you want it to be saved. And then make sure that it is NTFS set up right there. And then you format it, you start, and there you go. So now you also want to make a mounting point. So you click your local disk drive, your C drive, and I already have it set up right there, but you pretty much right click, make a new folder. There you go. And then just title it SD card. Now, from there, you want to go down to your search bar, type in disk management so it should already come up should be the first thing here right there you so see you click that and that should be loading up so now it's loaded up and what you want to do is you'll see that you have your C and E drive and so right here is your E drive so you right click that blue portion you go to change drive letters and paths and then you will click add from there you will have this selected and then you browse let's say your C drive right here you go to your SD card select that and I can't do it because I already did it so you would just put, click OK and it'll set that up for you and that should be it for that portion so now you're pretty much done you've completed what you needed to do um, this would be if you're trying to set up a permanent save point. So this could happen where um, storage, the, 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 the first way I did it, doesn't allow you to um, save um, like maybe like Google Drive documents or cloud storage sometimes. They want like it to be part of the main system. So this is where what we just did comes in handy. So you would go back to this right and let's say so you're trying to um look for your libraries but you can't find it so you you need libraries to do what you need to do so right now i would go to quick access and then let's go to right click downloads and let's do include in library uh documents for example so i already did this so that's why this is coming up but now we could see that libraries is live right here. All right. So now from libraries, you select that, and then you select uh, something like documents, right? Because that's what you want. You go to manage, and then from manage, you'd go you go to manage library, and then you'd select add, add, and then you'd probably go to like your SD card so you'd go not here not that one you go right here you'd go to 
local C, SD, and let's see, like document or something. And then you'd include in folder. And then at that point, so it's going to come up with uh, this section where it's going to look and make sure that it's indexed correctly, which that's what we just did. And it sometimes takes a while, so I won't do that. Then you just, I'm going to close that out, but you would press OK and it just, it take a while. This, on this machine, it takes a long time. So I'm not going to do that. And then after that, you've pretty much set it up and you could go back and maybe you can like, I don't know, let's say right click. Uh, is it right click? No, it's not that one. So then you'd right click and that should pretty much be it. You'd pretty much be done. You just have to go ahead and set, like you'd select something like this or this and then you'd set save location or set whichever one you want and that's pretty much it after that you've pretty much completed mounting permanent storage so hopefully that's helped you guys out um go ahead and like don't like subscribe i try to post once a week if not every two weeks so um hope you enjoyed Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.